Hey, what's going on? JD here, and today we are going to create some light leaks for Final Cut Pro utilizing Motion 5. Now, you may have seen video with light leaks added in after the fact, or maybe you've even purchased packs for light leaks. We're going to show you how to create your own, how you can change those about, and utilize them on your footage. All right, let's just jump right into it. So first thing we are gonna do is we are going to head over to the library. We are gonna go to the generators and we are going to select the clouds generator. So we're gonna go to the inspector here and what I wanna do is I wanna make these as large as possible. So we're going to scale these up completely. Uh, that's a little too skinny, and as you can see, that's getting a little bit better. Uh, and what we want to do is we want to create a big contrast here. So we're just going to uh, adjust the layers to get as much contrast as we can in the image here. And you can see as it generates, it moves. So from there, what we're going to do is we are going to dial down the speed a bit. We don't want it moving too, too fast. And we're going to go to the properties and we're going to increase the scale even more. We want this nice and big so that it's, you know, kind of very dark or very light. And that's probably going to work and not too bad. We're going to drop the opacity down because, of course, we want this to be transparent. And that's looking not too bad. So when creating a light leak, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to add some color ranges. And we're going to go with a very basic uh, orange and sort of purpley tone to get those light colors. We kind of want that burnt orange. And that is looking pretty good. You can kind of get the idea what we are going for here at this point. So now that we've done that, uh, we're going to duplicate that layer and that is creating the exact same layer overall. Uh, so what we're going to do is we are going to, of course, change the colors because you can't have both of the same colors. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to change that to kind of a purple and as we scrub through here, you'll be able to see that it just sort of covers over top of the orange and that's not what we want. So what we're gonna do is we are going to change that angle a bit so you get those little bits of purple and you get those little bits of orange seeping through. So again, we don't want things to be identical between the two layers. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the horizontal scale probably just a little bit just to make it a little bit of different shapes that are coming through that's probably a little too skinny there uh, so we're going to pump that up a little bit and that's not looking too too bad uh, and that's all good so now we're going to go over the properties again and we're going to deal with the opacity so we're going to turn the opacity down I want it to be a little more subtle, uh, but first we're going to do that scale uh, and just make sure that, you know, it's kind of where we want it to be. And we're going to dial down that opacity so it's not as dominant as the orange and it's going to look good right about there. Of course, you can adjust and play with this and change the colors as your footage sees fit. So there we go. That's kind of what we're looking for. It's just an interesting little light leak. You can use this in a transition or you can use it as an effect overall on your footage. And of course, we have nothing left to do other than export it uh, to Final Cut Pro so we can start adding it to our footage. So there you go, that's how you create a light leak in Motion 5 for Final Cut Pro. As always, we're going to give away the assets and a free download. You can get those down below. Remember, like, comment, subscribe, share this video, hit that bell button so you get notifications. And until next time, see ya.